So this session is about communication. So how can you communicate if you have two computer systems? In this case, you have the host system and you have your virtual computer inside your host system. How can you make so to exchange data and information? There are two ways that I want to talk about. One way is how do you exchange data like files? Basically, if you are inside your computer system, this virtual computer system, and if I click on the file navigation, like the, inter like the navigation system of your um, operating system, the uh, explorer, or what have you, you will have basically a file system that is totally different from the one that you may have on your computer. So if you are under Windows, you wouldn't see any of those files. So what you may want to do still is that you want to copy files from inside the virtual machine to your Windows host computer or like tasks from your Windows host computer to this virtual machine. There is luckily a very good um, way of doing this, which is called shared folders. To get started, you go here to the navigation menu on the bottom, click on shared folder settings. And here you can set up a shared folder. What you need to do is you select a folder in your host computer. Let me take, for example, that my temp directory. But this is now in my host computer, okay? This directory I want to now make available inside my virtual machine. To do so, I click here auto mount and make permanent. I have to define a mount point and I recommend you to use something like MN, slash mnt which exists inside the virtual machine. You click OK, you click OK again in the shared folder. Now if I click on the mnt directory, voila, what you will see is the files from outside the virtual machine. So I can really now create here files and these files become available in your Windows, OS X or Linux machine that you have which gives you this really convenient way of working. I recommend you to um, store basically all the files that you want to manipulate in such a directory and not inside the virtual machine image itself. Okay, uh, Because um, the virtual machine has a certain size, a couple of gigabytes, while your files are typically very small and you may want to you know, exchange them with colleagues or with the department. Okay, that concludes um, shared directories really quick. I can also remove them again, by the way. Let me do that. I remove this directory. Now, if I click on MNT again, it's empty. Okay, you can only do this with empty directories. Okay, a second way of information exchange is the clipboard. So your computer system has a clipboard, control C, control V typically in Windows. Um, what you can do is you can, we can configure the virtual machine and by default it is configured that way that it uses the same clipboard, which is convenient to exchange links or whatever information. So I can copy here, then I can go to my host system and let me go here to this little Google doc, which is our and paste it here. Okay, let me paste copy from here. So this is now outside, right, of this virtual computer. It is my host system that runs the virtual computer. I copy, okay, I copy from here and I paste here and you can see the text is pasted. Okay, so you can really use this for information exchange. It's very convenient.